Warriors breaking news for you from Vogue Hemra front Sikota Abergale Ethiopian National Defense Force was advancing from Sikota towards Abergale towards Tigray Amhara border but what happened uh, it seems that Tigray forces have made gains they have advanced towards sikota from eastern direction we have details for you secondly uh, since the 24th of august when this new phase of the war started we have seen thousands of uh, if not thousands hundreds of uh, endf soldiers in the custody of tigray forces though tigray claims that it has captured uh, more than 5000 uh, ethiopian government soldiers now some fano fighters are being shown as pow's we were really tigray fighters have captured some fano fighters we have a clip for you showing fano fighters in the custody of tigray fighters Firstly, was breaking news is from Vogue Himra front, uh, Sikota, Abergale. Because last year, uh, Tigray forces retreated from Amhara region, afar as well. But you know that they uh, remained in control of some parts of North Gondar and uh, some parts of Vogue Himra zone. Abergale uh, parts of Abergale remained under TDF control and tens of thousands of civilians from Abergale they were displaced towards Sikota and in Sikota there were uh, tens of thousands of IDPs Ethiopian National Defense Force uh, deployed its uh, uh, divisions to Sikota there was heavy deployment of Ethiopian National Defense Force in Sikota PMRB was seen a few weeks ago uh, addressing the senior ENDF officers in Sikota. Uh, when Tigray forces uh, moved towards Kobo and then they captured Kobo Robit, and after that they uh, advanced towards Voldia. After that, they moved towards Sikota as well from Abergale, Abergale, Amhara region. From Amhara region, Abergale, Tigray forces uh, started moving towards Sikota. Main road which links Sikota with uh, Abergale was uh, the route along which TDF was moving. So there came a counter-offensive. Ethiopian National Defense Force planned a counter-offensive. The objective of this counter-offensive was to advance from Sikota in a northern direction. An objective was to push Tigray forces out of Abergale and then the objective was to enter Tigray. Ethiopian National Defense Force moved from Sikota. We saw pictures uh, shared by Ethiopian National Defense Force of uh, TDF's hideouts from Abergale. So ENDF managed to reach Abergale. It did not enter uh, Tigray. Was ENDF in full control of Abergale? It's not clear. But ENDF advanced from Sikota towards Abergale. And it was a massive counteroffensive because we know that uh, uh, in the last uh, one week, Dozens of cargo flights have landed at Lali Bala Airport. Gerjon and several other experts uh, have uh, monitored these flights. They have tracked these flights. Uh, satellite images are being shared of Lali Bala Airport, showing dozens of military vehicles, military trucks uh, at the airport. So, uh, at Lali Bala Airport. Uh, Reinforcements arrived, troops arrived, uh, and military equipment arrived mainly. This equipment was transferred from Lali Bala to Sikota, and a massive counter offensive was launched from Sikota city towards Abergale. 
How did uh, Tigray forces counter this counter offensive? This counter offensive of Ethiopian National Defense Force was countered by Tigray Defense Force through another counter offensive. So, TDF fought in Abergale uh, to stop ENDF from entering Tigray. On the other hand, Tigray forces moved from Koram and Alamata in western direction towards the main road which links uh, Sikota with Lalibela. And TDF was already trying to cut off this road because we know that a few days ago UK uh, changed a travel advisory for uh, its citizens uh, and UK government advised that uh, it says it should not uh, travel to Lalibala and travel along Lalibala Sikota Road. There was ongoing fighting along this road. But when ENDF moved towards Abergale, uh, a TDF was pushed back towards Korum. But it managed to launch a counteroffensive from Korum and Alamata and move towards Sikota. And now, while ENDF is moving in northern direction, TDF from the east has managed to reach Sikota. Both sides are confirming that heavy clashes, intense fighting is ongoing in and near Sikota. Some say in, but most say there is heavy fighting near Sikota. Tigray forces have managed to lay siege to Sikota. From Koram side, there is a main road which links Koram with uh, Sikota Lalibela road. From Koram side and from Lalibela side, reportedly Tigray forces have managed to lay partial siege to Sikota. It means that ENDF's advance in northern direction towards Abergale has proven counterproductive. I mean, ENDF was planning to push Tigray forces back into Tigray from Abergale, but ENDF seems to be losing Sikota. Had ENDF not advanced from Sikota towards Abergale, it might have defended Sikota. But now its advance, its gains towards Abergale are going to be lost as well, I think, because ENDF will be trapped between Abergale and Sikota. So, its advances, its gains between Sikota and Abergale will be lost if it loses Sikota. We are not saying that TDF is in full control of Sikota, but reportedly Tigray forces have managed to lay partial siege to Sikota. It means that in coming hours, Sikota could fall. Sikota could come under TDF control if it happens. If it happens, it would be a huge blow to Ethiopian National Defense Force. Why? Because they committed, they deployed their uh, entire strength on this front uh, with the help of military equipment transported uh, at Libala Airport. So they, do, they, they, they tried their best uh, to push TDF back into Tigray. If they lose Sikota, Lalibala will also be in danger and TDF's control uh, on Kobo, Kobo Robit will be consolidated. So coming hours are very crucial, we will update you in coming hours about the control, who is in control of Sikota. It seems that uh, Tigray forces could enter Sikota in coming hours. Lastly viewers, uh, uh, videos, pictures are being shared showing Fano fighters in the custody of Tigray Defense Force. Since the start of this new phase of Ethiopian war on the 24th of August, we have seen hundreds of ENDF soldiers taken prisoner by Tigray forces. Tigray uh, military command claims that more than 5,000 uh, Ethiopian government soldiers have been taken prisoner. Uh, but now Fano fighters are also being captured by Tigray uh, fighters. I have a clip for you. The clip shows several Fano fighters uh, 
they are wearing a t-shirt uh, with pictures of uh, Asamanio Sege who was uh, uh, Amhara region's uh, uh, chief, security chief, but he was assassinated, he was killed in 2018. He was charged with plotting a coup in the Amhara region and then he was shot dead. But some groups like Fano in the Amhara region, uh, they are of this view that Asamani Sege was uh, a true Amhara. He fought for the people of the Amhara region, for Amharas. So that is why a brigade of Fano was named after Asamani Sege. And this brigade is called Asamani Brigade. And these Fano fighters uh, seem to be members of Asamanio Brigade because they are wearing shirts with pictures of uh, Asamanio Sege. Watch this clip showing Fano fighters uh, taken prisoner by Tegarai forces. Thank you for watching. Also, the other one.